we're going to see how to use two unsupported tools called log run and tcp replay to test rules that you are creating let's say that you don't have the best source of the of the logs which is the best way of testing your rules but let's say that you don't have the the, the actual logs uh, uh, in your system and you want to debug uh, your testing rules so those those two commands are there they are unsupported and I, my guess is that you know you're playing with not real events the timestamps are not right this can lead to false positives so i'm not surprised that is they are not supported but they are there and also the part that is absolutely supported is uh, firing any script that is going to contain this uh, log run and tcp replay from the actual console so the first step is let's say you have the file a file a text file with the actual logs that you got them in some way copy paste uh, you you redirect it into a file but uh, these are the actual files and the way that they will look when they uh, that they were uh, played the first time so by the way in my handwriting I, I write always in in looks like uppercase but all these uh, commands and file names are in lowercase so the first step is to actually put that text file into any directory that you want with incubator in my case i'm using a subdirectory called a demo uh, vpn right and i'm using f in my case to do the transfer the free tool filezilla in case you've never used it before you just have to specify sftp put the IP uh, address of the IP address of the Curera box, user ID and password, and we move that file into that uh, particular subdirectory. And we're going to invoke that log run command from a script that we put in that uh, particular uh, directory. And here's the actual command. It's pretty simple. So notice that the log run. Uh, actually command resides in this uh, curator bin directory you specify the first parameter is the file name and in our case this is the file that we uh, are, are putting uh, uh, actually the first characters vpn underscore logs are capital and then this minus u is to spoof a sp uh, uh, an ip address uh, if we take a look at the actual file once more we see that the ip addresses in bold are five dot something and ten dot one and what we are doing with the U is actually saying, well, the, the address that I want the, uh, to show up in, 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 in the actual logs when replay is actually this particular address. The minus L is how many times you want to loop this, how many times you actually want to run this. And the second command is the number of uh, events per second. So. For, for our testing command, that, that's the way. And we don't want the output of this to go anywhere else. Um, you can comment any particular line as you do in any shell script. Like you see this other example here. And of course, we can just invoke this uh, script from, from right here by just calling it there. But there's a better way. Let's do this from the console. So you are actually, when you are debugging your rules, you are in the curator console and you want to actually launch those from the console itself. To do that, all we need to do is go to the that directory, opt curator confs, and edit this XML file. I'll pick context on this on the score menu. So we go to that directory and edit the file. Now let's uh, scroll down a bit. These are just explanation on how to use the the right click, and this is what we need to do. What what I did is I added this this line in here. So every one of these lines is are going to be an option when you right click on, a, on any IP address. It doesn't have to be an IP address involved with what you are doing. Any IP address you do right click, you're going to see this uh, list of options from flows, those events, VPN logs, etc. So the, I added this third line, VPN logs, and as you can see, what I'm doing in here is uh, just invoking that VPN.sh script that we saw before. All you need to do is go to the admin tab on the console and restart the web server. So let's actually do that. So you click here on advance and restart the web server. This is going to uh, 
of course, reboot the, the web server, so you're going to lose access to the console, and you need to wait until the Tomcat server comes back, uh, back again. So we are at the lock uh, uh, tab, and uh, now all we need to do is right-click on any of the IP addresses, and when you hear to more options, plugin options, now you see all those options that you put on the XML file. And the one that we just added is the VPN lock. So if we click on it, that shell script is going to be invoked, as you see here. The shell script is going to be invoked. And we actually see those uh, blue code, those VPN uh, locks uh, being actually replayed. Now, to run flows, uh, you do something similar, but the, the, the files are not going to be text files, they are going to be pickup files. So let's actually uh, edit this uh, run flow. file to see the syntax of the TCP, uh, TCP replay. And as you see, the actual nature of the, of the files, the type of the files, actually are uh, pickup files.